Good afternoon. Okay, um, good afternoon, Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Got a question. There are a couple of apps that you guys might be familiar with. Grinder, Jack, A for A, Manhunt. Alright, so these are apps that you can install on your phone, which um, some people call them dating apps or sex sex apps. You're able to load these, this service on your phone, and then you would use your phone to go search for a date. Or I think in the case of Grinder, the closest person in your area or zip code um, for you can meet them for hookup, sexual hookups. Some people claim they meet them, use these services to meet friends. Um, they're very popular. So I've had, I got a lot of friends who consistently on their phone all day playing on the phone on Grinder, Jack. A for A or Manhunt all day long. They're just doop 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 doop. Every we driving, every we going, doop 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 doop. Do. I think they can get addicted to these sites too. I don't subscribe to any of those sites. I don't have any of those applications on my phone. I don't particularly care for these applications because I think that they can lead to some very bad behavior. I think these applications are great for people who are looking for sex. If you're looking for sex, Grinder, Jack, A for A, Manhunt, and even Facebook can satisfy your sexual needs. The problem that I have with these um, applications that you put on your phone is that so many people use these apps to um, look for sexual conquest that they begin that they go through life consistently using these applications um, they don't know how to have a healthy relationship with someone else because they're so used to I'm horny I want some sex pick up the phone a couple of clicks a couple of scrolls you know <coughs> voila I found my date <coughs> quiet I said shut up so how can you have, if you go through life, consistently lose, using these applications, Grinder, Jack, A for A, Manhunt, on your phone, everywhere you go, while you're at work, at the movies, with your friends, hanging out, on vacation, you're consistently looking for sexual gratification. <laughs> Ask Daddy, come here. Come here! You consistently looking for sexual gratification on a website. Consistently looking for who you're going to have sex with. How can you have a healthy relationship when you do decide to have a relationship if you ever get to that point? Because at some point, at some point, hopefully, in your life, you're going to want a relationship. I think, maybe, some of us do. Some of, some of you guys don't ever want that. Um, my experience from these applications is that you will find a lot of guys who use these applications. Some attra you can probably find, find you some very attractive guys off these applications. I do not doubt that. I don't doubt that you can find some very handsome, attractive men for sex off any of these applications that you may not be able to find on your own if you're not uh, lucky enough to know where to meet individuals without using these applications. But to get these applications promote sexual addiction. Now, I know some of you will probably say, oh, I use that application to meet friends, and we go to church on Sunday. Spare me the lies. You're not going to be using those applications to meet no men to go to church on Sunday. Quit lying to you, yourself, and anyone else. Those applications are designed for a spe specific reason 
to meet someone for sex. Now, sure, you may not go on there to, some people claim they don't go on there to meet guys for sex. I can, I can see that. But that's like me going to a whorehouse to meet somebody to have Bible study with. Oh, I'm just going over here to this um, Bob's house of prostitution because we like to, one of me and the girls like to just, you know, have a cup of coffee and study the Bible, Martha. I'll be back in a few hours. Give me a break. There's sex sites. People go online looking for sex. They are used for that reason, which is fine. Knock yourself out if that's what you want. But be careful. These sites can be very addictive. And they can take you down a path that you may regret later on. I got a lot of friends who got a lot of regret about things that they've done off meeting guys off of some of these applications. And then they get addicted to the application and they don't really don't want to remove it from their phones. So I'm not going down that path. I had a video game addiction years ago. I don't touch video games no more. I don't go into certain applications. Certain things, Facebook is enough addiction for me. I can deal with that. Some of this other stuff, I already know your brain gets to enjoying this and you get hooked on it. And then if your brain gets to, if you get to enjoying sex with different men on a regular basis, if you start enjoying having sexual contact with men or women, whatever you enjoy, gay or straight, and you like to have sex on a regular basis and you have found a way to get the sex that you want, when you want it, how you want it, like Burger King, served your way, you will get addicted to it. And you will have problems. And there's another issue. I have friends who are in relationships who um, use these applications. Well, and I have a problem with that. What are you doing on Adam for Adam, Grinder, Jack, and you're in a relationship? Looking for friends? You're looking for friends on Grinder, Jacked, Adam for Adam, or Manhunt, and you're in a relationship. But you're on a sex site looking for friends. Those are grounds for termination of that relationship. Because you're not mature enough to know a sex site is where your black ass should not be if you're in a relationship. You can I would terminate a relationship quickly if I found my partner was on Grinder, Adam for Adam, th those sites, unacceptable for Walter. And rest of y'all can do what you want to do. But I'm not going to be in a relationship with some man and he is going to those sites claiming he's looking for friends or whatever. I'm not on those sites. Your black ass might not be on those sites. If I find out, what's grounds for termination? I mean, that's it. I'm not going to argue with you about this. Those sites breed, there's a, there's a certain, it breeds a whole lot of problems. And they, in those sites, those sites are responsible for a whole lot of HIV infections. We know this. There's proof, scientific proof, that these guys go on these sites and contract gonorrhea and they go meet somebody off the site now, of course. They, go on the site, meet somebody, and they meet up for sexual gratification, have sex, and they end up getting gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, and all kinds of stuff. And, they, and, and there is research that points back that these people contracted it from meeting somebody off the site. In fact, they have been going into these sites, found the person, and took the person's laptop and found every person that, that the person had had sex with to alert them that this person had these STDs and have passed them to other people. You know, guys, do what you want to do. Those sites aren't for me. And most definitely not for someone I'm in a relationship with. If you're going on there to meet friends, good luck. If you're going on there to have sex, use a condom at all times. Try not to get addicted to this stuff. But anyway, give me your guys' thoughts. What you think about Grinder, Jacked, Adam for Adam, A for A. And manhunt applications on your phone. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And this is a good idea to meet people, even for friendships, off these sites. Give me some feedback. I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. Bye.